Today we are playing the Nintendo game Lost and Random. My name is Darlene Honey and welcome to this video. Lost and Random is inspired by work of Tim Burton, what you can already see by its spooky creepy style. This is also one part that makes it a little bit different to other games. Here you see you always get helpful tips while the game is loading. I'm sorry I've activated German language but the voices are all English and I'll just explain things if necessary. Of course I accept everything because otherwise I'm not able to play. Long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. Dice is creepy, but somehow it's really sweet. Just get instructions how to attack. Now they tell me to leave the dice dimension. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery
Our story begins later, in Wongroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- uh! Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. Uh! Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! Hey, was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! What is that? That looks weird. Odd! Wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now! So hey ho, let's go. Do you see that? All the houses are large teapots. See that woman there? That's it reminds me a lot of little life for the queen. Kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of twelve would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dance, which would reveal to them their place in the world of randoms. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh. It's uh, an old crawl space. It worked for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's All go. the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Sorry joy. to interrupt, but I need to make everything a little bit brighter to see something on my TV.
Yes, that's much better now. Then for us is so grand joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy, that today her representative, me, the Nene Fortuna, has come to share her good news with all of you. Just to have it said, Prepare I like the candle on her head long. Joy, citizens, for what does random do? Random rules! Indeed it does, and indeed it ever shall be. For random is fair, random is just, and random is right. This is what the queen teaches, this is what her dice teaches, and this is what life itself strives to teach you every moment of every day. When you break trust. Even, Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad, I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday! Oh, even! And I got a present for you. It's so cute! Make a wish! said every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice and so it was for random is fair random prevails and random rules random rules be grateful child that the queen herself is here for your special day Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace. Well, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she had changed? A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy, the physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fan- Oh, it was still very late, or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories, or at least that's what she told herself. same stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. I think we've already seen enough for today. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Leave me a comment if you like the game so far and if you would play it too or not. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye!